hey guys welcome back or should I say thank you for welcoming me back um, it has been a hot minute since I uploaded anything onto this channel I think the last time we were really being consistent was about July 2018 um, and in the meantime like since that season of our lives a lot of things have happened we have we have been pregnant twice we had one miscarriage and have a daughter who is 13 months old now and also side note our house got destroyed by a tornado so anyways in the meantime of like getting everything ready to be like repaired and doing insurance stuff we have moved into this sweet apartment in franklin tennessee it's 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 really been a sweet place to be in the midst of a really weird season in our lives one of the great things about it is we have this awesome patio that backs up to see this gorgeous just like greenery which yeah it's just really awesome so we've been here for a little while and we have not yet like made it our own not until this week so we did that this week and getting a little bit of a sneak peek of what we did but yeah i wanted to just share that with you guys and just so you guys know it's it's actually not really complete we just kind of did what we could and are so open to hearing any ideas that you guys might have anything else that you guys might think would be a good idea i'm very open to suggestions and i'm gonna have everything linked on my website living love blog so yeah excited for you guys to see this let me know what you think give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and hope you enjoy the video we really, really love this space that we get to call home right now. I don't know about you guys, but I very rarely see an apartment complex where the patio doesn't face the parking lot. And so it's really nice to have this little tiny corner of the world and nature just kind of right out. But this is the before shot. As you can see, it's just kind of a spot where we've been putting a bunch of stuff we had had the plan to maybe plant some herbs out there and we've actually been using this space as our workout space but then we've got this tiny little awkward cove right here and we don't really know what to do with it or we didn't really know what to do with it so it's really been just kind of not being used at all except for for us to work out so to start i actually did what i had been planning on doing for a long time and i started planting some herbs. We've got some cilantro out there, some basil. I am not a person who has a green thumb at all. And so this is like literally the very most basic thing that I could possibly do, but I love cooking with herbs and so I'm really excited to have them. So then we wanted to get into this little cove. I don't even know what to call it, but this little space over at the side. So we decided to pick up some hanging hammock chairs from Amazon. And as you can see, that's my husband and he is putting in some screws at the top. Um, then we just hung a chain down off of those and hung the chairs up right there. So it's actually like the coolest little space and feels so cozy. Our, our patio is pretty big and so it's nice to have this really cozy little spot over off the side. The next thing that we did was decorate one of the walls. So we had these two big walls that we just wanted to do something with. So what I did is I ordered some fake ivy, again, don't have a green thumb, off of Amazon and I just spread it out so that we could hang it on this big wall right here. Oh man, so one of the things that we wanted to do was put a little wall of curtains up. We went back and forth on where to, to put it, but we ended up deciding to put it 
um, across the ivy. At first we hung it on the mirror, but what you just saw was my husband trying really hard to untangle it. It was such a pain to untangle. It was such a pain to untangle, and it's because I didn't take it out of the box right. So pro tip, make sure that you take a light curtain, whatever it's called, out of the box correctly. We ended up deciding to hang it on the wall of ivy, and ugh, whenever it's nighttime and you turn it on, it looks so pretty. The next thing that I did was just start decorating with some stuff that we bought at different places. but I love layering rugs, so that's what I did in that little space. And then for this other big wall, we decided to just kind of zigzag some lights again at night. It looks so stinking cool. The next thing I did was just put a rug under here. I think what I'm probably gonna do is buy another long rug as well, and maybe do two of them because it's just a little bit small for this space. And then I got some decor pillows just to, again, make those little hanging hammock chairs even cuter and then this little I don't even know what it's called little table eh, I don't know is it was from trees and trends and it was super cheap I got it on a really big sale because apparently it had been there for a long time and it had a broken wheel but we're not gonna be rolling it around and so it works perfectly then I just put some trinkets out there y'all I love 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 the layering rugs look I think that it is makes everything just feel so cozy. And I think if the biggest piece of advice I could give to you would definitely be lighting and rugs. If you do that, then your space is gonna feel so sweet, so cozy. There are the herbs that I put up, and then I'm also just putting some other things on this little shelf that I have. The herbs are literally the only living thing on here because again, I do not keep things alive very well except for my family, my dog and my daughter and my husband. But if it's green, it's probably not going to stay living in my space. I decided to keep this space a little bit of a workout space. It's just so nice because whenever my daughter is asleep, taking her naps, I get to come out here and, and it's just got such a big spot. But this is what it looks like at night. Y'all, I am obsessed. It is so sweet. We did this for not a lot of money at all. We just really kind of picked up random things that were on sale. I, I checked out Amazon and found a lot of things that were a really good price and just picked up random things. Is there more that we could do with it? Sure, but it totally fits exactly what we want. It's the best place to come out after my little one-year-old goes down to bed for me and my husband to come out and just enjoy one another. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm getting to try my hand at planting some green things. This is by far my favorite little spot. We come out here every single night. We have some ice cream or some wine and just enjoy one another sitting in the chairs, talking to each other. I love it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that. And yeah, it's just a really sweet, simple space. I'm really loving it. Me and Austin have enjoyed some time out here together in the evenings. Oh, I'm still getting used to holding a camera again. If you enjoyed this video, um, please leave it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. We are gonna be getting into all of the things that have been going on in our lives over the last couple of years. You're gonna hear about our birth story. You're gonna hear about the tornado, what all that process has looked like, and just, yeah, settling into the new life of being parents as well. But thanks guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon. Bye.